So now let's talk about the data model of Salesforce CPQ. I'll just quickly explain that to you. Uh, if you are already familiar with that, I'm not sure how, how much technical you are, but still I think I, I owe some responsibility to explain you what's down there, right? Lying under it. Uh, so there's account, there's opportunity, and there's opportunity product. Um, and then from opportunity, uh, there is code that gets created and inside code, there are different code, code documents that you send to your customers and accordingly you get an approval based on that. Uh, and then, so the, all of the blue uh, things that are in here are the steel brick objects, right? And all of the gray uh, objects that are here are uh, the Salesforce native sales cloud applications object, right? Or the sales cloud platforms yeah. app, uh, objects. So whenever you like get the license of Salesforce CPQ and just have it on top of the Salesforce platform that you're using, uh, these are the additional objects that you get in order to manage your uh, CPQ process. So that's there is code, code document, and then there is code line, uh, what, what, and you just pick all of those things from the products and the uh, and the pricing for it from price uh, price books, and then from the uh, the bundles from the product options and everything, right? Uh, so yeah, this is this is how it typically looks like. Uh, if you can just remove me and showcase this completely, uh, so yeah, this is what it is.